So welcome to ALEC211 Digital Electronics Actor 4, the introduction to the sequential logic. So the, we have some sequential logic, the propagational, get delays, time diagram, the latches, flip flops, and why the sequential circuit is important? Because the previous state is significant. The reason is that if you want to switch from the channel 1 to channel 2, you just need to press you must rely on the previous state. So now we look at sequential logic revision. The three sequential switching circuits have the property that the output depends on not only the present input but also the past sequential of the input. So the state becomes significant to determine the output. The latches and flip flop are commonly used as memory devices in the sequential logic. In order to construct the switching uh, circuit that has a such as latch, flip flop, must introduce feedback to the system. The gate delays and timing diagrams. The output of the logic circuit does not change simultaneously, and the output gate is going to be delayed with respect to the input change. The delay is called propagational delay, the propagational delay from 0 to 1 uh, by a time of sigma 1, the propagation delay from 1 to 0 is sigma 2. So let's look at the feedback loop with two inverters. Consider the feedback loop with the two inverters. This circuit has two state, uh, stable states. The first one is 0 to 1, and the second one is 1 to 0. And uh, it's just like uh, the, the two stable states, which is uh, well, initially at, initially at uh, uh, 0, we have 1, and 1, and 0. And initially we have 1, we have 0, and now 1. So let's look at the ring oscillator, the timing diagram. It's like what if we come from the come from the uh, this circuit? What would we like to achieve in the in the future? So let's in let's uh, first uh, say uh, assume the initial state is uh, one zero one as the loose treated that they are uh, the initial state is here. So let's look at the <coughs> how would we uh, interpret the how would we interpret the so here we have one, and then it's going to be uh, changed. After that, it's going to have an inverted, it have an inverted upgrade from zero to one. So corresponding is going to have from uh, one to zero after a, a shifted time period. So we are going to introduce a full uh, clause of this uh, uh, signal, and then we're going to shift it back and shift it down, shift it back. And so forth. So, in so this is just the uh, uh, three sigma in uh, half of the period, and we wanted the uh, uh, full period, which is times two. So this is going to be six sigma uh, uh, during the full period. So the inverter figures has a propagational delay of four uh, nanoseconds. So the thing here, we are going to have a delay of 4 nanoseconds and the AND gate of 8 nanoseconds. So we are going to draw a timing diagram for circuit showing the A, B, C uh, and the A, C are initially at high. So A is high, C is high. Uh, no, no, it's initially at 0. So this is 0 and this is 0. And uh, let's look at B. B is initially at high. So let's look at how it's going to do again. So let's look at so here is A, B, and C. So initially we have we're going to have blue, 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 Okay, and let's look at initially. B is at one. Okay, so B is at one. Maybe we can choose a different color to make it more intuitive. So, for example, let's look at the B is 1. So, B initially at 1. And uh, C initially at 0. Uh, A initially at 0. And now, what will happen to the next state? So, the next state for the C, okay, for the C, it is gonna still to remain to be zero, right? So this is gonna to remain zero. So the, which means that it is a stable state. So now we are going to change it, change it for, for the AND gate here. And now we're going to change it to the inverter, so this is zero, and now we're going to change B to one. 
So what does change B to one mean? B to one mean it's going to be delay four seconds. So let's assume this is time zero. This is time zero. Let's just say the it's going to delay four seconds. So this is going to be four seconds. Okay, four seconds. So for after four seconds, it is going to change from zero to one. Okay, B is initially at one, right? B is initially at one. Okay, that's 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 perfectly defined, right? Because it is always it's a it's a stable state. Yeah, it's a stable state. That's that's there's that's nothing to say. But the things come to change is that uh, B is after twenty nanoseconds. So here it's twenty nanoseconds. Twenty nanoseconds. Twenty nanoseconds. So after twenty nanoseconds. A become one. A become one. That makes some difference. Do a look blue. So A becomes to one. A becomes one. And uh, what will happen if A becomes to one? A is one. Then this C is going to be one. But look at that. It's going to delay eight seconds. C is going to B, so this is twenty eight seconds. So before that, it's going to still remain the same. B is so still going to remain the same. So it is going to become one. Okay. And uh, it becomes to one. And uh, B. Uh, so A is A is still one, right? A is always one. A is always one. So let's look at uh, let's look at the let's look at the let's look at the let's look at the B B. So what is what does the B here mean? The B just means. Uh, uh, the B just means uh, the B just means uh, <coughs> the B just means uh, <coughs> let's look at the B here, right? The B is just uh, B is gonna to B. The B is gonna to So what if C is uh, C is uh, and B is going to be changed, right? So it's going to after four seconds. So this is going to be thirty milliseconds. And the four seconds B is going to be zero. So if B comes to zero. If B comes to zero, C is going to come to zero. C is going to come to zero. Uh, after eight seconds. Okay, it's going to come to zero, and. Uh, C comes to zero. B is zero. A is high. So B and C are both zero. What do we have? B and C are both zero. B is gonna to be one. B is gonna to be one. After four seconds, forty four. B is going to be one. 
and then it will follow the structure. Then let's look at the slashes, which is two stable states. The set reset latch, which is SR latch, can be put in one of the two stable output states. They are triggered by setting the input, set the input plots. So the question is that, why is the input plot? Yes, that's, that's intuitive. As long as there's a plot in S, we can set it. Uh, um, here the question is that, uh, Mm. Uh, uh, yo, yo. Digital cross count uh, over module assessment uh, discussion board. Learning resources uh, discussion board. Uh, mm. uh, Uh, in the Well, that must be something, something based on the computer. So it's just the definition. You just need to remember that. And uh, now let's look at the. So the key thing, the main takeaway is that if long as the the set import is going to be zero, it's going to be uh, r is going to be one. So this is the. That is the set recess. So how do we, let's uh, draw the truth table of that. So let's draw the truth table. The truth table is very simple. It's just like uh, the uh, set reset uh, Q, okay, uh, P. So what if it's uh, zero, 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 it's zero, 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 one. So initially it's zero, zero, P. <coughs> P. So initially both of them are one. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is one. And uh, set, set, zero, zero. Zero one zero one 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 illegal. So how do we interpret that? So if it is zero zero then it's gonna to be one, right? Because it is definitely zero and it's inverted one. So what if r is zero? r is zero means uh, one zero, it is one, so it comes to zero, so that is one. So uh, the thing is, uh, r is, what if r is one? r is one. If r comes to one, r comes to one, then it will be zero, p is going to be zero, and uh, R is zero, zero, zero is going to, Q is going to be one, that's fine. So what if it's, uh, what if it is uh, uh, zero, one, so S is zero, R is one, zero, one, what will what happen? So zero, one, so now the S is zero, which means this is zero, this is one, so one one we will going to have the one and the zero here so p is one q is zero p is one q is zero 
uh, is uh, yeah, definitely fair one. That's uh, one one why it's not e e it's illegal. The thing is very simple. It's just like, what if it's one one? So one one means uh, uh, s is one. This is zero, which means that this is going to be zero, and this is one, and uh, r is one, so this is going to be one. Uh, Oh no, no, this is going to be zero, and uh, now this is going to be one, and uh, just a moment, huh? Just a moment. Uh, so what if it's uh, one, one, right? PQ is uh, S and I is one. S is one, I is one. So they are going to interpret a one here and a zero here. And y is going to interpret a one here and a zero here. Uh, zero comes to here. Zero comes to here. Just uh, 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 hey, why? Zero. P and Q are both zero. Mm. Oh, the thing is that you P and Q cannot be both zero. There's no illegal states where A and uh, There is an illegal state, right? Yeah, you are right. It is zero, and uh, it is zero. Well, it is zero means uh, there is going to be one. This is going to be one means this is going to be zero. Zero and uh, zero, oh, which means this is zero, then it's going to be one and one, so it's just like changing simultaneously, therefore it's wrong. So, in conclusion, in conclusion, what if it's uh, uh, one, one, and if are zero, and uh, this is going to be one and zero, zero, and uh, let's look at zero, zero, it's zero and one, so then comes to one, one, one comes to one, it's, uh, one one comes to one and now it's uh, zero 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 comes to zero and comes to one then comes to one thing is that uh, one 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 zero 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 one 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 zero uh, one 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 zero zero one zero one is one my friend zero one is one then we come to zero the thing is, it's changing back and forth, so it's not acceptable. So that's all that can be put in two of the stable uh, states, and uh, the which as follows, and uh, we can interpret that uh, the timing is just like, uh, uh, what if this is uh, one, it's gonna to delay sometimes to be here, and uh, if it is uh, uh, this, uh, and it is going to delay sometimes to go down. 
The circuit is set to have memory because the output not only depends on the present input but also depends on previous sequential input. The just thing is that uh, Q is referentially referred to the output of the uh, as, uh, SRH, Q is 1 is set, Q0 is reset. So cross coupled of the emphasis gets symmetry just like uh, uh, this is very obvious. And uh, the set reset is asynchronous, uh, means that output changes shortly after the input rather than according to an external clock. And the switch is bounded with the uh, SRH when the mechanical switch is uh, open or closed. The switch contains the vibrate bounded between the closed several times. The pull down resistor assumes. Uh, Assure that when the switch is between the latch are logically zero. The thing is that uh, S is uh, what if the S is uh, bonus at B, bonus at A. What if we bonus at B? What if we bonus at uh, Um, what if we put it in R? Set, reset, set, reset. Mm. Let's continue look at the the latch shorthand, which is the this is the S, this is the Q, and this is Q naught, and uh, this is D, this is G, this is Q and Q naught, and this is S, this is R, this is Q and Q naught. What you could latch? Yeah, we sometimes do not include the L, which is a latch. Memory. <sighs> what is the M? <laughs> that doesn't matter. Let's go. What's the MEM here? And uh, the gated D latch is just the D latch, and the transparent latch is just like uh, as long as it is high, as long as the this is high, then G goes to D, right? It's very simple. And uh, so the reason that what if G is zero, then nobody is going to hear anything. If G is going to be high, and uh, D is going to be high. 
and uh, yeah, that's going to be high. And if j is high and then one comes to zero, then it's going to be low. That's great. And the gate and this slash is going to be the show as false. So the uh, existing state q plus is next state. And let's draw the block diagonal. It is just like um, so the q. Uh, what if the, the g is one? Ah, uh, g is one. Then it is uh, it's going to follow the the d latch is uh, is in o. Yeah, it's enabling. It's enabling. Yeah, as long. Um, we just uh, copy the things uh, here, but we just need to delay sometimes to do follow the exactly the same period. Okay. And flip flop, we define the flip flop as being a memory device slash slash. The changes its output state in response to a clocked input. Clocked circuit prevents response to the glitches. Glitches? How does the clocked circuit? How does input how does clock the input change changes the glitch Johnson Sankey quick got this thing hole. Then that's some mini. Don't be confused. The extra slash sometimes refers to other source like this as a flip flop. In some cases, as a flip flop, I like the gated or clocked it. Gated or clocked it, yeah. And why is the files not latches? It's just avoiding the gauge. Oh, thank you. Oh, I see. Why not use flip flops, not glitch it? Just like um, glitch it. Sometimes, example glitch, just like uh, this is equal to a plus a minus. Right? But uh, the logic comes true for any a. The outcome is a is equal to zero during the inverter. A by is still zero, so x equals four. Temporarily, there's a glitch. Glitch at D may trigger or unpunch the change. This can be avoided if the clock is in control. Action into the next clock plot. The glitch at D may trigger an unwanted change step, but it can be avoided if the clock is in control. Flip flop. Mm. That means uh, yeah, there's a place in which uh, they are not doing exactly well. The SR flip flop. So appreciate summary that S equals to I is zero. S is one, I is zero, set I equals one, S equals zero. R uh, equals to 1, so it says uh, Q to 0, then it's not allowed. Uh, implementing with two latches. So the thing is just uh, like that, and uh, the analyze is uh, as follows. The edge trigger, the detail flip flop is that uh, sometimes it's rising edge triggered and the falling edge triggered. And uh, if it is uh, a rising as triggered, it's just like as long as it is uh, rising, this is a uh, falling as triggers. When we're like, looking down, then going after some period, it's going to be, uh, it is going to be zero. zero uh, no, no, it's uh, 
folding edge, then D is gonna to be uh yeah the D is gonna to be one and uh, the next one is going to be zero after some time it's going to be zero then this one is going after some time it's going to be one this one after some time is still going to be one this one after some time is going to be zero after some time it is going to be zero so we can do some setup and hard time for the edge trigger D type flip flop the propagational delay of a flip flop is the time between the active edge and the Edge of the clock resulting in the change of the flow flip flop delay. D uh, input may also increase the timing issues. The amount of time the D must be stable before the active edge is called the setup time. The amount of time D must hold the sales value after the active edge is called the hold time. The D changes the prohibited time interval or at or too close to the time of the active edge, the output is unpredictable. That's understandable, it just means that what if the setup times, it is just saying that uh, the time that TD must hold, okay? And the hold time is the D must hold after, after the active edge, right? A deterministic minimal time period. Uh, so we are given the inverter have a propagation delay of two. The F flip flop have a propagation delay of five. The setup time is seven. And uh, so the thing is that uh, what if the call comes from here to here, and the this is going to be a uh, Q is going to be a. Uh, uh, this is going to be a set out time of three, and uh, the thing is that we must have, we must hold the, we must hold the value for three nanoseconds before we do that. And the teaming equals to propagational delay plus the propagational combinational blocks plus the TSU. Yeah, and that's all for today. Thank you very much. Uh, in conclusion, that there are going to be a uh, free flow of and latch. And the latch, we have D latch, SR latch, JK latch. Free flow, we have T free flow, D free flow, SR free flow, and JK free flow. So the D free flow flop is uh, the Q enabled J is D, and the uh, SR is that S comes to set, and the JK is just the. Uh, I am not talking here. And the GT is just the reverse of the D and uh, uh, the the SR and the D is just like a put a clock signal to the enable of the uh, latch and GK is just like a, um putting a clock signal in the time period. Okay, that's all for this. Thank you very much.